in this here make me tough to you snack cake to me yeah more house more house this been overdue forever forever ask me when it was dropping said never never should have made you cut the feather but i designed it freemason margella what's goody shell try here the most woke no joking i'm <laughs> Got a game with a brand new video and won't bluff. I just got sent the most ridiculous, subjective, nonsensical article I've ever read in my life. I've ever had the displeasure of seeing with my own two eyes in my entire life. And I've been alive for a little bit now, man. I've seen some some wild rest of wild things before, man. But this is definitely the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. It's from Bleacher Report, so you get what you get, man. Anyway, man, let's go straight out of PIP. I want to get right to this. NFL's most overrated teams entering 2018 training camp, bro. What I got to say, this list is about ridiculous. It's written by uh, a guy named Mike Tanier. We'll get that in a second. Basically, I want to read this. I don't usually read these blurb things, but I do want to make sure that we get a little perspective here. Where are the days perspective? And uh, this is what I want to talk about here. The following teams are ranked according to the disparity between how good fans and experts think they, they will be determined in part by Super Bowl odds posted by Odd Shark and how good they really are as determined by the most infallible of sources, my opinion. All right, to get a little perspective on the most infallible sources, Mike Tannier, I went to his, to his Twitter. This is Mike Tannier guy. This is he's, a, he's an NFL national lead writer for Bleacher Report NFL, co-author of Football Out Outsiders Almanac, Running Gun Gangster in a Sad Restless Age. Give me a second. I want to form my words right because I don't want to say the wrong thing here. So I want to make sure that I get the words right the first time. And only have to do this one take. You will never in your life ever see me take the opinion of anyone seriously with a Twitter avi of a picture of a Clash Royale character if you have a check mark. I will never take an opinion of a man with a Clash Royale character, a cartoon character from a from an iOS gaming app. Seriously. If you're a lead writer for the NFL. You co-wrote, what, the Football Outsiders Almanac? And you have a check mark beside your name? But let's see what Mike has to say. Let's see what Mike has to say. Number six, Dallas Cowboys, first strike. What kind of list has a top six is 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 a is a top six ranking? Who does who does six rankings? That's not even a clean number. It's usually top five, top ten, top twenty, or like the whole the whole league is ranked. Who does top six? So this this is obviously a top five ranking list, but he wanted to talk negatively about the Cowboys, so he made it top six. No one does a top six list. So this obviously tells me off rip. He just wanna talk bad about the Cowboys, which is fair in some certain extent. But when you're but when you're a guy who's writing who's a lead writer for a, an international sports outlet, can you have any kind of journalistic integrity? Please. I know it's the end of July and it's the off season. Content is hard to come by, believe me. I don't know. I mean, you work for a much bigger company than me. I understand a little bit about there being a lack of content right now as someone who creates content. For, for football, bro. I understand, but a top a top five list, a top six list where you just sneak in the the Cowboys to talk bad about them. And he says what they're what they're considered a team that would have contended for the Super Bowl last year had it not faced crippling adversity of losing running back. Well they really are the sixty seven Mustang that your uncle only thinks he knows how to restore. Okay. Oh, there are twenty to one odd. There are twenty at twenty one odds to win Super Bowl this year. That's not great odds, and no one outside of Cowboys fans really thinks the Cowboys are that good. They have a suspect defense with players who can't stay either healthy or on the field due to suspensions, and they have uh, a receiving core that even the Panthers last year wouldn't have wanted. So I'm kind of confused as to. I, I guess the. I guess. I mean, if the two deciding factors are are. Super Bowl odds, what fans think, and his opinion, that must mean he has a pretty high opinion of of this team because 
The odds aren't great. And if he's only taking the fans of the teams that he's talking about, then obviously every fan's expectations are going to be high. But if you're talking about like NFL fans in general, throughout the whole league, no one but Cowboys fans thinks that the Cowboys are going to be great this year. So this has to be his opinion bringing the average way up to be this overrated because no one has the Cowboys doing anything this year, especially not getting the Super Bowl in the NFC over the Rams, Eagles, us, Falcons, Saints, Vikings. Come on now. Packers, come on now. They're at best the seventh best team in the, in the, in the NFC right now. And even the Seahawks to do better than them. Anyway, the Chargers. Number five, 35 to 1 odds. Really? What they're billed as, still favorites win the division in flux. What they are, the coolest band on the side stage. What a clever twist of words, I guess. Nice metaphor, I guess, Mike. But no one thinks, people have been saying that the Chargers are going to be really good for the last three years straight now. We're off that bandwagon. You're three years too late, Mike. No one thinks that the Chargers are going to, and even if they do win the division, are they going to beat the, the Steelers in the playoffs? Are they going to beat the Patriots in the playoffs? Can they, I mean, what, what are we even talking about here? What are we even talking about here? Like, I don't can they beat the Texans if they do well enough? I mean, what, what are we even saying here, man? The Jags, they're at best the fifth best team in the AFC right now. So what, what's, what, what's, the, what, what, what's the thing? What, what, what are we even talking about here? Maybe even seventh, honestly, if you want to take into account the, uh, the, the, the Broncos, maybe even the regular season Bengals, they do they do well enough in the regular season. I don't want to. Come on now, Patriots, hard skip, hard pass. If you tell me, look me in the eyes and tell me the New England Patriots are overrated, I'll say, man, we can talk about it. We can argue that sometimes they probably are a little bit overrated sometimes, and they're more ba they're more rated based off their past success than what we can uh, see for the future. But if you look me in my eyes and tell me the Patriots are, the are in the top five most overrated teams in the NFL this upcoming season, you, you lose all credibility to talk to me about any sport, not just football, not just the Patriots, any sport at all. We cannot have a conversation if you really believe that the Patriots are a top five most overrated team in the NFL. And honestly, there's really no point even continuing this conversation if that's what you believe about the Patriots. If you want to read about this stuff, what he has to say, I'll put a link to this in the comments below or in the description, but I'm not going to read what he says about this. I, I really just, you lose all credibility with me when you say this kind of stuff. Number three, he has the Texans, which I feel like this is more of people overrating Deshaun Watson and J.J. Watt as individuals. No one really thinks the that the Texans are going to take over the, the AFC. Honestly, when you think about the Patriots, Steelers, Jags, uh, just think about um, who else? Who else? I mean... I feel like the Raiders are overrated to some degree. Maybe the Broncos are overrated to some degree. But I don't know if the Texans as a team are overrated or if it's more of just their quarterback who only played, what, nine games last year? Who showed flashes of greatness and, and really good skill but only had a limited sample size. And their all-star, maybe even all-time great, if he can stay healthy for the next rest of his career, J.J. Watt. Like, I don't understand... J.J. Watt has been, has been healthy for the last two years, and there's no indication, there's no reason, tangible reason to believe that he can stay healthy for 16 games of a regular NFL season. And if they make it to the playoffs, can his body hold up past for, the, for, the, for two to three games? I don't know, and I feel like a lot of fans are like thinking, they're kind of on the fence, but at 20-1 at to 1 odds, I say they are overrated, but there are other teams that are more highly overrated than than the Texans, I believe. Number two, while you're all here, the Carolina Panthers, I don't get this. Our odds are 23 to 1, which we have longer odds to win the Super Bowl than the Texans. Are we really that overrated? If if we won our division, I mean, we, we, we won the division three years in a row, right? We were so, we were ranked so poorly versus against the Saints and the Falcons, but all we did was end up a game better than the Falcons and and tie the Saints record last year. Aren't the Saints one of the top three or four teams to win the Super Bowl this year? And definitely they're they're strong favorites to win the the division. But didn't we we tie their record last year after they beat us twice in the regular season? But but yeah but, but yeah we're overrated though we're overrated. I don't understand this twenty three to one odds. Uh, 
They, they said that we're a former NFC champ getting back to the things that made us contenders. Well, that's what we're billed as. But what we are is a former NFC champ moving away from things that made us contenders. No one's ever billed us as... Name, na name me one beat writer. National writer. Person on the, on the airwaves, be it radio, be it TV, be it plasma, shot through the, shot through the brain and transmitted mentally, or telepathically. What are these sports writers who have who who have the paint and the Panthers doing anything positive this year? All I've seen is is Panthers go seven and nine, Panthers go six and ten, Panthers aren't a good team despite evidence against all of that the the, the last several years with with no real weapons on the outside. It's all Cam's fault. The defense is okay, but can Luke stay on his feet? No. And that's, that's all I've seen from from these sports from these sports writers. So please, Mike, Mike, Mister Mister Clash Royale himself, can you please show me one person who's not from North or South Carolina saying the Panthers are 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 a team to beat? Find me one source of people saying the Panthers are will be the, the second best team in the division. Find me one source that says the Panthers will make the playoffs. And and as 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 a team that goes better than nine and seven, find me people who are saying that the Panthers will go better than oh, they'll be ten and six this year. How are we how are we the second most overrated? You couldn't find anyone that the Cowboys are number six on your list. Boy number two, find me all these people. Find me all these people who believe outside of Carolina, who believe that that we that we're gonna we're gonna win the division again. Who's saying that? Who's saying that? Even Darren Newsom, who writes for the Panthers for ESPN, and before the comments come in, I know his name. I don't speak his name because he's terrible. Even he, he writes about the Panthers for the ESPN. He has nothing but negative things to say. So please, Mike, find me these people who are so high on the Panthers, if you will. Help me. Help me. And then he says San Francisco 49ers as number one most overrated team. Probably the third or the fourth Smart thing you've said this whole article, man. I, I believe in Jimmy Garoppolo. He's going to be good in the league. But we are getting a little ahead of ourselves. I think it's kind of jokes. It's like it's slightly jokes, slightly tongue-in-cheek. We just want the Niners to be good. I believe in Jimmy Garoppolo. And I think most Niners fans are pretty grounded, realistic people. They're thinking 7-9, seven 9-7 nine, nine is realistic for them. But with, for them being 20-1 20, 20 to 1 Super Bowl odds... The Niners have a better odds of getting to the Super Bowl than the pa than the Panthers. Get that through your head. We went 11 and 5 last year. We were in the Super Bowl two years ago, going 15 and 1. Won the division three years straight. But the Niners have a better chance of getting to the Super Bowl than us. But we're the second most overrated team in the in the nation. I'm done with this, man. What do y'all think about this, bro? What do you think about? Oh, you know what? Go to this guy's Twitter. And let him know. It's at Mike Tannier. It's right here, bro. Let him know what you think about this list. Don't tell me. Tell Mike. Because he's the one getting paid to do it. He's the one getting paid to do it, man. I don't I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, man. What do you think? What is this list? Hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Cheers to you. Appreciate the chance. Being told y'all I've been the man. Being told y'all I had the gift. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Real ones gonna recommend. Count this as another win.